we have created our first my shop account congratulations and the first thing we're going to see is a small tutorial that is going to show us all the little details at least the the, <laughs> the buttons that we have around and what they do so that you get an idea so it's a small tour of the of the program uh, I suggest that you go through it at least at, at some point in time. If you want to skip it, you can. You just click here on skip. And if you want to know, you know, you just come back and then you want to pay attention to it, then it's very simple. You just click on guide. So the little lamp here and then you're right back to the tutorial. So you can always check it. And if you see it the first time and you don't remember anything the next time, which is understandable, then uh, don't hesitate. You can just click there and it's always available to you. So it starts with the dashboard that shows the overview of each section and steps you need to follow while fulfilling the orders. So it's, it's sort of like the first step when you create an account on MyShop because you it's the place where you're gonna synchronize everything and sort of go through the checklist of all the, the things that you have yet to set up and to prepare your account. And then we have the search products, which is the page we're currently in, and it allows you to find the products that we have available on my shop. So just uh, with a quick search, you can uh, get lots of different results and there's a lot of different filters. We will see that in a, in a video. Uh, then uh, edit products details and push to source you have linked. So once you've searched for a product, you can then select it. And usually the product will be available in the import list, which is where you can sort of configure it, change the title, description, the photos, uh, which then will allow you to, uh, to send it either to your MyShop store or to your eBay, uh, Shopify, whatever you, you might have going on. My products, then if you or remove the products that you have pushed the stores in my products, so it's, it's sort of like the second step. Uh, once once you've the, taken care of the import list and you've sent the product to your Shopify account or your eBay account or your MyShop store, then this would be the place for you to edit them, change them, delete them, etc. Then we have the my orders, which is pretty straightforward, whatever orders you have happening. So you got a purchase from someone and then uh, you can see the status and, and see how everything is going to have access to all the information you need. So what they bought and do you have a tracking code, uh, did they receive the product? It was the payment made, etc. So you, you pretty much manage all your orders in this section. Uh, then we have the my shop part. My shop allows you to create and manage uh, your my shop store and also to link and manage your Shopify eBay store. So any kind of third party, um, program that you might be using, it will allow you also to connect them and, and insert the information you need in order to do the synchronization. Then we have the settings button that manages default settings for product pricings in your profile because every profile is different. My shop allows you to personalize a lot of aspects of your account. So if you like things done in a certain way, this is the place to go. This will allow you to do this uh, configuration. Then we have the notifications button, which is pretty straightforward. It's a notification button. So if you have anything happening right now, uh, a new order came up or you have something that, you know, is kind of urgent and that you should be uh, checking out, then this is the place where it's going to show up. You're just going to have a red button on this little bell. The help center, uh, which is a, a space where you can communicate both with the customer support, but also gain access to lots of different information about the website, how to use my shop, clarify any kind of questions you have. And then, so of course this was the page guide. And as I said, you can always come back to it. So if you don't remember the first time, please don't hesitate to click on it and, uh, and check it out once again. Uh, we also have different parts that were not shown. So the apps part is where you can download the app version of my shop, which is uh, also available. So my shop exists not only on the, uh, on a browser, um, version for the computer, but also on, on mobile. So don't hesitate. I think it's a, it's an interesting feature to have, uh, that you can manage your orders and, and your products on, on, a, on your phone. It's always, I think a, a cool feature. And then we have the different types of accounts. So you, you might have a distributor account or a dropshipper and influencer account, the account part, we will uh, go back to it at some point in time, but basically depending on your, uh, membership, uh, you might have uh, different conditions. So this is a, a good place for you to, uh, to go back, check on the status, if you need to update it, et cetera, what's the, uh, expiry date. So this type of information will be available there. And also we have this uh, setup part, which is kind of similar to, uh, to what we talked about in the settings, but it has a little bit of differences because it allows you to personalize your profile. So your email information, password, etc. And then we have the little one that says language. Uh, you have some languages that are available. So apart from English, you also have Espanol, as you can see, <laughs> we've switched to Spanish. 
and this uh, of course is great for Spanish speaking users. We will have many more languages uh, in, in the near future. So and you might want to check that out in case you're not uh, an English speaker or you would prefer to have another language. This will be available to you. So this is pretty much everything. Now we will see uh, in more details every part of my shop and what you should be uh, looking for.